Good morning and welcome to this reflection for Monday of Holy Week. This morning we're looking at readings from Luke's Gospel as we follow Jesus' journey to the cross. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, please send your spirit to be with us all this morning as we read these words from Luke's Gospel of his account of the Last Supper. Help us to draw closer to you as we read these words afresh today. Amen. If you would like to read the verses in your own Bible, we're going to read from Luke 22, verse 1 to 23. Yesterday, the church celebrated Palm Sunday. We looked back to Jesus entering Jerusalem on a donkey with the hopes of the Jewish nation resting on his shoulders. The streets were ringing with hosannas and there were branches of palms all over the road. But to today the cast of characters is much smaller. They're well known to each other. Some have heard the call to follow Jesus. They listened and by and large they obeyed. But there are others who have watched Jesus from afar and come to their own conclusions. And they feel that he is not the saviour they've looked for and the time has come for action. So they find a way. They speak to Judas and agree to pay him to betray Jesus. But somewhere quiet. After all, Jerusalem is full of pilgrims celebrating the Passover and they don't want a scene. Meanwhile, Jesus sends Peter and John to prepare the Passover. And when they arrive, they find that it's all been arranged ahead of time, down to the last detail. Finally, Jesus sits at the table with his closest friends. At the end of the meal, we read that he breaks the bread and he blesses the wine. And in this simple act, he shows us all the way to remember what he did for us. His broken body and blood that was spilt so that our sins may be forgiven and that we may spend all eternity with God forever. The story of the Passover is shared and retold each year. Jews remember God's mighty act of deliverance from slavery in Egypt through the Red Sea to the promised land. But Jesus has not come to retell this story. He has come to deliver those at the table, those who will arrest him and put him to death. And indeed, all of us. He's come to deliver all of us from the slavery of our sin. In a Holy Communion service, when we have said the Lord's Prayer, the priest is instructed to break the consecrated bread. And when they do this, they say, we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. And the congregation responds, though we are many, we are one body because we all share in this one bread. This is a story of preparations and plans. Two threads which dance around each other. One leads to destruction and the other to salvation. So as it's the beginning of Holy Week, I would like to encourage you to reread this passage today. And pray and ask God to teach you where you sit in this story. What part do you play? Amen. Let us pray together. Father God, I thank you for this story and all that we have to learn from it. I pray by your spirit that you will be with each of us today as we draw closer to you in this season of Passion Tide. Amen. You may like to remember in your prayers the church as a whole, the worldwide church. 
our nation and its leaders and those people who are caring for those on the margins, the vulnerable, the lonely, those who are unwell, 